Hello, Zetch here. Hope you're all doing well. This is just a quick video about the belt that got damaged on the, uh, the 3D printer. So what I did was I printed these little uh, temperature guides. I just made these little things on Fusion 360 and I printed each one at the temperature that it states on there. So the first print I did was I just put some some blue paint to tape on the bed and then printed directly on that and the second test was printing on Kapton tape to see if it will protect the bed and then I printed one little test on at 260 directly on the belt to see what it does to the surface of the belt. You can see in the middle of the bed here, when I printed this sword, the surface of the air was quite hot so it made a mark on the belt. And here is a close up of the belt after I printed on the Kapton tape. You can see there is no mark on the surface and then the, where you can see the 260, that's where I printed directly on the belt. There are two things that you need to do to protect your your belt uh, when you're using a, a laser printer belt. First thing is to make sure that your, your vertical offset is correct so that the nozzle isn't too close to the actual belt and the second thing is put some Kapton tape or blue painters tape on the surface to protect the belt. The, the painters tape works as well but it gets torn more easily. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll get a new belt through the post. Thanks for, for your support and thanks for the feedback. Appreciate it.